Just worship God wherever you are this morning. As the worship song was going on, I heard the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. <laughs> he said, somebody's on the prayer altar. You have gone through a lot. You, when you review back your life, a lot of mistakes you felt you've made, a lot of things you've done wrong. And also, I should tell you that there is a fresh mantle coming on you this morning. Aha. It's releasing a fresh mantle. That mantle is going to change the course of your life. You are looking at the past, you've made a lot of mistakes, and apart from that, you don't know how to move on. The Lord said you are receiving a mantle. There's a mantle you from heaven. Glory be to God Almighty. Please, while the prayer is going on, if you've got a testimony encounter you would like to share with us, I'd like you to raise your hand on the prayer. Right on Instagram, on the Zoom, just raise your hand so that we can actually hear your testimony to the glory of God. Whatever great thing, whatever wonderful thing that God has, you know, begun in your life, that God has done in your life, I'd like you to share with us. I'd like you to indicate your thumb up why we will, you know, we're, 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 we're going to hear from you what the Lord has done. Thank you, Father. Everybody begin to bless the name of the Lord this morning. Begin to give him praise. Begin to give him glory. Begin to give him adoration. Thank him today. Sin today is the goodness of God. Uh, being a part of today, it can only be God. Many desire to be today, many desire to see today, but they are nowhere to be found. Many had a lot of plans. In, in short, there was no need for them to die. They had everything. They can use money to buy everything they want. They can fly to any country of their choice to get anything. They got everything at disposal. But in spite of all these things, 
So many of them died like chickens. So many of them died on our way. So many of them have gone. But you and I were alive, not because um, it's not because it's um, we, 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 we know much more better. It's not because we are much more better, but because of his mercy. Because of his mercy, he has kept you. He has kept your loved ones. Lord, I just give you praise. The Lord said concerning somebody, he said, I am rewriting the report. There is something that I see written in an exercise book. And the Lord said, I'm rewriting it. I am rewriting it. Something will be written by the law concerning somebody. Open your mouth and begin to bless his name. Open your mouth and begin to give God the praise. Open your mouth and begin to worship him. Open your mouth and begin to adore him. Open your mouth and begin to give God all glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We, we're going to we're going to bless. You see, I don't know if uh, if you if you live in your own house or you live in a, an apartment where it will be easy for you to open the ground, just dig a little of the soil and put oil, and then get ready for these prayers. I'm going to be praying a prayer. I'm going to pray any time I pray. Anytime we pray, understand that something happens. It depends on the on what we are dealing with. Whenever we pray, the spirit of God goes into motion. Something happens. Every time I pray, I will always I know something happens. I today we're going to pray for water, we're going to pray the anointing, and I tell you something is going to happen. You're going to put your faith to something you want God to do immediately, and you're going to use the water to pray. And you're going to put your prayer about something you want God to do immediately. On, and you're going to also make use of the anointing of Glory be to God Almighty. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. There's something about the anointing. There's something about the anointing. The anointing breaks the yoke. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There's a, there was a sister who was shared with me. The, the mother's sister who was there, and they wanted to take over the mother's property. The mother stays abroad, but they're taking over it. She, the daughter, can't have access to it. She just lives there like a pauper. Right? And they know they are using charm. They're using all kinds of jazz to just you know, take over everything. And she was now building on, the, on, on, on her mother's land. She's building. So a land that is not her own. And she, I don't, they don't know how she convinced her. She came to me. And I told her, I said, bring five bottles of oil. And I prayed over it, a simple prayer. There's no any special thing I did over it. And I said, take this oil, take it home to that place. Open the ground. You are going to bury one, each one at every corner of the house. And these are the scriptures you're going to read. Read Psalm 24. It is the mother of the female terror. And you read Psalm 35. And you are going to pray that this is what I want. And <clears throat> you're going to pray, <clears throat> okay? You're going to pray that this is what you want. And when you make that prayers, put it at the four corner and be anointing the top of that place for seven days. After that moment, it was as if she was still continuing the building. After a while, she stopped. She took that and look that I'm not building again. Because somebody has spoken to the ground. <laughs> because the earth is the Lord, the fullness thereof. So he spoke to the owner of the earth. Let this thing stop. Hear me, child of God. Anointing breaks you. Anointing breaks you. Anointing breaks you. You are going to anoint inside where, whichever, if you if you don't have sun in your compound, you're going to anoint inside your own house after we prove that oil. Listen. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Whoever is dragging what is yours anywhere on the face of the earth, they will leave it. They will remove their hand by the power of the Holy Spirit. Number two, if there's any yoke around where you are, any yoke at all of the enemy, 
any yoke that you are carrying, any yoke that you are battling with, the yoke shall be destroyed. The yoke shall be destroyed. Thank you, Father. I want you to pray this prayer this morning. I say, Father, every yoke upon my life, every yoke I'm carrying, every yoke I'm battling with, Lord, by the anointing, let that yoke be destroyed this morning. Let that yoke be destroyed this morning. Let that yoke be destroyed this morning. Open your mouth and begin to pray. La Krasodo, the Ragazaba Hudi, Ikuad the Kazaba, Ragatiba Kuziba, Gitu Lubadaya, Ruzaba Rabahaya. Let every yoke that is hanging around my life, yoke that will not allow me to rise in destiny, yoke that will not allow me to become what you want me to be, yoke that is limiting my movement, my speed, my rising. Let that yoke be destroyed this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, the Rabba Kushika Bahaya. In Jesus' anointed name, we pray. I pray over everyone on the prayer altar this morning. With every yoke that is troubling your life, that is limiting your life, every yoke that is fighting your destiny, I see that yoke being destroyed this morning. I see that yoke being destroyed this morning. I see that yoke being destroyed this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Rus In Jesus' name. There is something about somebody's papers. I see that the Lord has approved it. I see that the Lord has approved it. I see that the Lord has approved it. This is job and this is stay. This is job and this is stay. God has approved it. I command it release now by fire in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to pray in this direction this morning. We want to go in this direction this morning. He said in scripture, he said, I will go ahead of you. I will go ahead of you. I will go ahead of you. I will break down the gate of bars. And I will cut the bars of fire. I want you to declare this day. There are certain things that should, go, that should happen ahead before you enter that time. There are certain things that should be cleared away from you ahead. We want to speak ahead of us. We want to speak to days ahead of us. We want to speak to months ahead of us. We want to speak to weeks ahead of us. We want to speak to year ahead of us. We are going to declare, oh God, go ahead of me. Oh God, go ahead of me and begin to fight my battles. Fight every battles waiting for me in the following days, in the following months, in the following weeks, in the following year. Fight those battles hanging around those times of my life and let me hold my peace. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, my father, go ahead of me this morning. Begin to fight every battle that is hanging around my weeks, around my months, around my days. Every battle hanging around those times of my life. Oh, Lord, my God, fight them for me. Let me hold my peace. Fight them for me. Let me hold my peace. Fight them for me. Let me hold my peace. Fight them for me. Let me hold my peace. In the name of Jesus, we are going to pray again. There is power behind God going ahead. And God said, it makes life easy. It makes your journey easy. We are praying it again. Look at the, the look at Cedric, Meshach, and Abednego. The Bible made us to understand that as they entered into the, the fire, the Bible helped us to understand that as they entered the fire, scripture tells us that the fire did not burn them. But they saw a fourth man in the fire. The question is this, when did the fourth man enter the fire before they were thrown there? <laughs> that one, that fourth man is Jesus. He has gone ahead of them. He has turned fire to air condition. Look at when, when prophet Balaam was hired to curse the children of Israel. He raised seven altars in several places, 49 altars. They killed Ram everywhere. They kill bull. They kill all manners of animals. But still, he came back after 49 altars. He said, we cannot curse them because the shout of a king is in their midst. Ah, listen to me, child of God. There is, there is, a, there is, there is a security preservation. There is what happens. There is what you enjoy when God goes ahead of you. 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 Ahead of you. you are going to pray this morning. And begin to say, Father, go ahead of me concerning this pursuit, concerning this desire, concerning this thing I want to do. Daddy, go ahead of me and begin to fight all my battles and begin to silence all my battles. Father, go ahead of me. Open your mouth and pray. Oluwaishiwaju me law. 
your mouth and pray. Oh, my father, go ahead of me this morning. Every battle waiting for in the remaining days of this year, in the months of next year. Oh, Taraskesha. Raskayada, Le Koroskija, Azarada Haya, Radabakuzi, Ingalabaraba, Zara Casado, Eya Gadabaza, Rabalabahadia, Rasutaba, Igradu, Le Quadicasia, open your mother pray, Igradicasa, Barakatabahaya, it is the fighter, all my battles, let me hold my peace. In Jesus' name, I want to begin to pray. Say, my father, go ahead of me. This morning, this morning, every crooked path begin to make them straight. Every crooked begin to make them straight. Every crooked path begin to make them straight. Open your mouth and pray. Every obstacle, every limitation the enemy has planted, begin to remove them. Begin to remove them. Say, my father, send angels. Let them go ahead of me to begin to clear everything off my way. Clear of every entrance in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Gaya Katukaza. Concerning my traveling, go ahead of me, Lord. Concerning my visa, go ahead of me, Lord. Concerning my document, go ahead of me, Lord. Concerning my maritime journey, go ahead of me, Lord. Gaya Kataba. Everything the enemy has orchestrated and planned, fully planned. Concerning my maritime journey, Father, go ahead of me. This man too later. This man too later. This man, it's not everything the enemy plan that you should see. It's not everything the enemy program that should come your way. There are some that should that should die on arrival. There are some that should die on arrival. They Baraba, they should have been done with before you get into that time. Before you enter your future, the future has been settled. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Go ahead of my children. Every calamity in any day of the year. Oh, Lord, my God. Begin to fight my battles. Fight my battles for the next year. Fight my battles. Begin to break down the gate of brass. Everything that stands as a strong limitation to limit my speed, to limit my growth, to limit my advancement. Oh, Lord, my God. Ayadukuba. Go ahead of me in the Yakadiba Rakadekasia Olabakaba in Jesus' name. I want to pray this prayer and say, Oh God, go ahead of me and fight for me. God went ahead of Israel and fought for them. That was why the, the prophet Balaam was not seen the Israelite. He was seen a king, the shout of a king, the voice of a king that was saying, Don't cause them. He was prophesying. Balaam was hearing, don't curse them. Don't touch them. Don't do anything. And he came up to say, obedience is sacred. Child of God, listen to me. Because there was a shout of a king. Somebody was shouting on their behalf. Somebody was speaking on their behalf. I want you to declare, oh God, in this coming year, in this coming year, fight for me in every circumstance. Fight for me. Let me hold my peace. Fight for me, let me hold my peace. Fight for me, let me hold my peace. Open your mouth and pray. Say, my father, in this coming year, fight for me. In the remaining days, uh, for this year to end, uh, fight for me, daddy, it lasts. Garagazado, zikwakwaka, shatalabadaya. Fight for me, uh, let me hold my peace. Uh. Fight for me, uh, let me hold my peace. Uh. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You are, I want you to emphasize it this morning. Lord, go ahead of me and fight for me. When the Egyptians saw the kind of wind that, that opened the Red Sea, they were the ones that were saying that the God of the Hebrews is fighting for them. Lord, fight for me. Let people know you are fighting for me. Let my enemies know you are fighting for me. Lord, fight for me that all men will know that you are fighting for me. Open your mouth and pray. This prayer is going to begin to cause some kind of manifestation in somebody's life. Say, oh God, go ahead of me in the remaining days of this year. Go ahead of me 
in the remaining days of this year. Go ahead of me as we step into next year. Fight for me. Huzu uh, Hata. Eriza Talu. Le Koko Sata. Zara Bakoshe. Zewa Kasun. Rabala Bahadia. Zara Gadigazia. Zukwa Katabahaza. Le Kwazi Bahoria. Azawa Kotuba. Ala Kosubada. Zawa Kadia. Zadeke Debaho. Zawa Katabaya. Man Rapokosia. Chateau Baraba. Mangala Bakosia. Agita Bakosia. Ezara Kosi. I pray this morning for you. God will fight for you. Everybody under the sound of my voice on the Zoom on Instagram, Ye Kalos Ragazabaya, I pray for you this morning. Is a Wakato Bazaya. God will go ahead of you in the remaining days for this year to end, in the remaining months for Ubahaya, Roba Dabahazia, Rakadabahaya, Borobakadia, in 2023, God will fight for you. God will go ahead of you. He will fight for you. God will go ahead of you. He will fight for you. It will go ahead of you into your village, your mother's village, your father's village. It will fight for you. 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 In the name of Jesus, I declare and I decree consigning every pursuit. Manda Bakazia, Laiduba, hear the word of the Lord. It was after prophecy was given through the prophet in the time of Ezekiah, we saw that all of a sudden, angel moved one night and killed one in 5,000. I prophesy as I'm commanded this morning. I don't know the issue in your life. And you wonder there's no helper. And you wonder nobody is standing for you. Yet the word of the Lord this morning, the Lord says, I shall announce to you, I will fight for you. Get As many on this prayer altar, you feel reduced. You feel minus. You feel not up to the task. You feel something is not you, you don't have people. I don't know. I don't know what is just like that in your life that is making you feel reduced. This is what the Lord says. I will go ahead of you. The Lord said, I will go ahead of you. I will fight for you. I will go ahead of you. I will fight for you. I will go ahead of you. I will fight for you. I will go ahead of you. I will fight for you. I will go ahead of you. There is somebody on the prayer altar. This is the song I heard you singing. I heard you singing, you know, show. Baba Tisheo Oton Jamila Ya Baba Tisheo Otisha Otisha That will be the song of somebody on this prayer altar. That which God will do that will cause you to sing for joy. Nyuruko Jesu, it is done. It shall be done. It shall be done. It shall be done. It shall be done. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus, receive it now. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you this morning. Every territorial, spiritual, negative forces that is sent or are on assignment that is blocking the things that is supposed to happen for good in your life, right wherever you are now, I declare, we declare in the name of Jesus, let them begin to give way now. 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 Ragadi Bakazia. God is going to arise. I am prophesying to somebody. God is going to arise as your help fighter. He will fight for you. Watch it. God will fight for you. In the place where you feel you are, you are not adequate. In the place where you feel the enemy has an advantage. They are so strong and so networked. Hear the word of the Lord this morning. This is the purpose why we pray the prayer. And the word of prophecy is coming to say the Lord. There is somebody here, and I know it is almost everybody. The Lord will fight for you in the name of Jesus Christ. In every affairs of your life, whether the enemy feel they are too much and they feel you are too small, God will fight for you. You with God is majority. Malakuzo, Razabahaya, Garabakadebaya. In that your husband's family, God will fight for you. In that your mother's family, God will fight for you. In that place where you are the only one that is different, you are just you are just like the only black among the white. You are just different. I don't know what singled you out that is making you look like at a disadvantage. Today, God will fight for you. Today, God will fight for you. Today, God will fight for you. Today, God is fighting for his children. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. We are going to pray this morning. We are going to pray this morning. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you, Jesus. Allah mo yon logo baba. Mo yon logo. Allah mo yon logo baba. Mo yon logo. Thank you, Father. We want to pray. The Bible tells us that John the Baptist came to prepare the way for the Lord. He was born before him, before Jesus. He was born six months before Jesus was born. And scripture tells us his job was to prepare the way, sir. He was, he, he, he was in the wilderness. That Bible says the voice of one in the wilderness preparing the way of the Lord. Sir, every one of you, every one of us, we need a human person that will always be a voice for us, that will be a speaker for us, that will speak on our behalf. This is what I see God doing. And this is why we are praying it. We are going to say, Lord, raise men and women that will speak for me in the place of my testimony. Raise men and women that will speak for me in the place I need them the most. Raise men and women that will be my speaker. Open your mouth and pray. Before Jesus Christ was, was before he started ministry, John already started his ministry. Everything John was saying. He was pointing to the Messiah. He was pointing to the Christ. He was point, He was making the ministry of Jesus easy. He was a speaker. He was a speaker. People of God begin to pray this morning. Your speakers make things easy. They make your testimony easy to get. They make access easy for you. They make life easy to go through. They make your assignment easy to be carried out. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, my father, Begin to raise men, raise women, people that will go ahead of me. Listen to me, children of God. God raised Joseph for a purpose, to save posterity. The Bible said God sent him ahead in order to preserve a posterity. There are people that God will use to make this easy. Begin to say, Lord, begin to raise them. Begin to assign men and women that will go ahead to prepare the way for me, that will be that will speak for me in the place I need to assess, that will speak for me in various important places, begin to raise them for me, begin to assign them for me, begin to appoint them for me. Some of them, you might know them. Some of them, you might not know them. Some of them, you might know them in the spirit, but you don't know them in the flesh. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, raise speakers for me, people that will mention my name, in relevant places. People that will speak well of me in the places you have designed for, destined for me to enter. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh, my Father, begin to raise them in the name of Jesus. Rosso to Boroba, Elle Gredigosi, Rosso Barabaha, and Zarabakoziba, Erracusata, E Yegedegia, Rogozobara, Ragazibodia, Ragozubaha, Regosuda, Chale Gredia, Rosuata, Kayagadabaya, Rodubacadia, La Cadabaya, Gelibacadia, Loqua de Baya, Ragadahaya. Thank you, Father. Please, who is here? I just got this information. You feel as if something is walking around in a part of your body. Something is walking around the part of the body. I want you to indicate your hand right now. I'm going to pray. It is Sipara Bahaya. Le Grabba Koziba. Gaya Bakodia. Razo Koduba. Reguzu Bahaya. Me Gradiza. Rozo Bahadia. This is what I hear. Please, if that person there, raise your hand on the altar. Hear me. The Lord said, focus on major helpers. Focus on major helper prayers. Focus on major helper prayers. There are certain people that are helpers to help certain things come easily, to help what God has answered the prayer to come forth easily in your life. I want to begin to talk to God Almighty this morning and say, my father, raise major helpers for me. From, from now to the end of this year, let them begin to rise. Let them begin to rise in my favor, on my behalf. Raise for me major helpers. Please, wherever that person is, you felt something walking on your body. Most of the time, your hand and your leg, you felt something just move. There's a way it moves. There's a way it moves. You feel your hand and your leg. Please, wherever that person is, indicate your hand. I'm praying and I'm, I'm going to bless water for you right now. The hand of the Lord is going to 
crush is going to flush out from your life every spiritual deposit and demonic oppression. Lord, I give you praise. Thank you, Father. Everybody begin to cry out and say, God, send major helpers to my life. 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 There are people here this morning. There are major projects for God is sending major helpers. There are major things you want to do. God said, I'm sending major helpers. Nen roste shata. E grada yakaza. Ruzo barabaya. Rakazia. Logoro bogozia. Gate ke ye ke tikozo. Rakadika za barabaya. Rakadika za bogodia. E rukozo barabakadia. Rakadia kada bogodia. I see major helpers coming to certain people's life right now. I see God sending major helpers. There are people that will walk into your life. There are people you will stumble into by the power of the Holy Ghost. I am praying for you this morning. Receive major helpers. Receive major helpers. Receive major helpers. Receive major helpers. They might not know you in the flesh, but there will be a connection in the spirit. I decree this morning, receive major helpers in the name of Jesus. Please, I mentioned it again before I go on. There's something you felt that moved around your body. You don't understand. It's happened occasionally. I want to pray because that thing is going to dry up. So I don't know if you feel that like you've had it there, you've encountered before, and you just have not had it for some time now, but you can remember you had such. I want to cause the root of that thing. Whatever is in there, in your body that has been lying dormant, waiting for any moment of time of your encounter to begin to make move, that thing is going to die now. So now can you get water? Can you get water? Unmute yourself, talk to me. Now people of God, listen to this. Three things. I focus my prayer on areas God want to do. I don't pray too many prayers. I don't pray prayers just for us to pray 1,000 prayer. Three things. Any prayer you hear me pray is a prophecy. Number one thing is this. God, go in ahead of you and I. God will go ahead of us to fight for you. God will go ahead of you to fight for you. I pray God will go ahead of you to fight for you. Number two, God will raise men like speakers. They will be your speakers. They will speak on your people. They will speak your name in good faith. They will, they will speak of you well. God will raise them. They will be ahead, ahead of you. They will be ahead of you in everything. And secondly, God will send them ahead. Before you get there, they will be there. Before you get there, they've arranged everything. Before you get there, you just discover it is easy. This kind of people shall go forth on your behalf in Jesus' name. By the power of the Holy Ghost. And number three, God will send major helpers. There are some of you, there is certain things you've written down. You just need the help. I don't mean, this one is not just financial help. You need resource help. You need somebody who is connected. I connect you by the blood of Jesus. Receive in areas, everyone on this altar need help. Some people don't need money. What you need is beyond money. You need somebody. You need a person. You need somebody that carries what will help you. Today, meet them. We command connection to major helpers on this prayer altar this morning. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now, the, the three, I want you to unmute yourself, please. The three people I'm seeing their hands up, is it, this, is it similar? Is it similar thing? Sonaya, talk to me. Good morning, Daddy. How are you, Sonaya? I'm fine, thank you, sir. Daddy, I used to have this thing walking behind, at my back. Some movement, I will be feeling some movement behind my back, on my back. Get water ready. So for Since some time now, I've not felt it. All right, don't worry. Just get water ready. That's why I said, you see, somebody could feel as the word of knowledge came. Just uh, happen, This thing happened just a week ago, and I don't felt this in there. But you see, that thing that was being made mention is to address that thing that comes at particular yeah. times in our Okay, Cynthia Wolf, let me hear from you. Just get water ready. I'm going to pray at once. Cynthia Wolf, how are you? All right. Thank you, Father. Now, Bukola, let me hear from you also. Get water ready. Good morning, Daddy. Yes, Cynthia Wolf, how are you? Good morning, Daddy. 
Yes, yes, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yes, Daddy, I, I've been having this, but this has been a long time, like from since 2008, I've been having this. I had a dream in 2008, uh, I slept in the afternoon and I had this dream like a snake enter my left hand. And I was running all around asking people to help me to remove it, but nobody. So I saw the thing entering in my hand with two tails. So I started crying in my sleep. And since then, since from 2008 to now, I've been feeling pain. It's off and on. It's off and on. But when, it, when, when I had that dream at first, that my hand used to really pay me a lot. It used to pay me a lot. But after some time, it start it start cooling down. It start cooling down. So it's now it's off and on. It's off and on. It's not like before. So when okay. you said it, my network is not to that stable. So when I heard it, that's when I put my hand up. So how do you feel? You feel as if something moves around the hand, right? Yes, yes, yes. The water now it's ending. Amen. Well, like, you. I have my water already. Ready. All right, just, just get ready. Bukala, how are you? Good morning, sir. How are you doing, now? I'm very well, thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, I had a surgery in 20, 2019, or thereabouts. So I think um, there's a part of the surgery that I can still feel is still protruding. I think after healing, I uh, complained to the doctor. They said, just leave it. But around that area, once in a while, mm. I feel as if something is moving. So it's confusing if it is that um, surgery part or something else is, uh, and I've been praying about it. So that's why I raised my hand. Can you get water? The three of you get water as I pray now. The reason the Lord mentioned it, God said, I'm ending it now. Mm -hmm. I am ending it now. I'm ending it now. Mm -hmm. just, just get your water ready. I, I'm about to pray now. You know, about mm -hmm. my counseling day, was it on, okay, on, on Monday? Yes, on Monday. A woman came to see me in church. She's pregnant. And she said every time she's having nightmares, somebody's coming to sleep with her. She feels heavy. She feels whatever and stuff like that. Strange things have been happening. And I told her, and I blessed the water. Just she went to buy me a big water. I blessed the water and I told the lady, I said, get home. I didn't pray any special prayer for her. I said, get home, drink this water, pour the water on your tummy. I said, whatever is disturbing you leaves you. She went home. She came yesterday to tell me. As I drank the water, I did the water, she said I should do it. She said she just felt all of a sudden something was moving from her tummy, like moved to her hand. I was on the team, moved to her leg and move, move to her nail. Very, and she was feeling numbness and that place. The thing went out. Light. Everything she felt heavy left her. Without anybody praying, when the water was used, it went to challenge that thing that was there, wrongling the inside and nothing left. Mm -hmm. Now that and that and that gives me strong confidence. Very strong confidence when God speaks pray in that area, I know it will happen. I pray over that water in your hands. Mm -hmm. I turn that water to the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Praying this morning, even if it has been there for a long period of time, because it is not supposed to be there. That water become fire. Anything that is not planted by God in your life this morning, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Amen. It shall be flushed out. It shall be flushed out. They shall hear the voice of the Lord, they will come out of their hiding places. Everything Amen. that has been there, as this water goes into your body, <coughs> that will be uncomfortable. Yeah. Within the next few moments, from this moment of time, I have lost it out. They will not Amen. be free. And I declare, Amen. these three of you, it will become an instant testimony that the has disappeared. I command Amen. right now, by the power of Amen. That that is not planted by God. I decree that that water shall go with fire and the covenant of the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.
mention the blood of Jesus Christ 36 times over that water right now. Mention it as the power of God is released. Rose Baragadia Subahaya, Ragadabai, Levarabaya Bapuka, Ragade Baposi, La Padabahan, Rosalita, Ragadabodia, Garabodia, Gaya Catabara, Ragadabodia, Gaya Bacada, Ragati Casa, Ragati Sosuba, Legata Casa, and Levada. Thank you, Jesus. Let's be your name of God. Lord, I give you praise. In Jesus. Anointed name of prayer. Thank you. Amen. Father. So this is what you do. That water that has been blessed right now, you I want you to use it for the next six days. If the water is finishing, pour more water on it again. You will drink it and you will pour on any part of you you're feeling that movement. You pour it there, you pour on your head, be, be repeating it for the next six days. After the six days, you will never, never hear it again. Because it will go back to where it has come from. It will leave your body and it is done. God bless you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sir. I'm praying for everybody on this altar this morning. Anything that is not planted by God in your life. Okay, there's somebody on the prayer altar. That person, there's somebody here. You are feeling something in a part of your body, maybe like on your back. Something is subjected to surgery to you. Maybe they, they'll be able to remove it through surgery or whatever. Right so, where you are, wherever that person is, I command that thing to disappear by fire right now. Oh. I locate that thing. So, I command that thing. To to the boy girl. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing huh? to disappear huh? by fire. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to disappear by fire. In the name of Jesus. Otobara Bahaya, Rakata Bahadia, Kayaba Kosibaya, Rakati Bakadia. There is somebody on this prayer altar. I don't know who you could be, but the Lord said there will be no need for surgery because I am healing. I don't know whatever the case could be, but the Lord said there will be no need for surgery because I am intervening already. In the name of Jesus Christ, Oropa Kadibaya, Galika de Bakadia. The time of something is very short. Fear is looming in somebody's heart. The Lord said, I will intervene. I will intervene. Receive divine intervention this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody on the prayer altar, bring out your communion. As we shall take communion this morning, major help us. Major help us. You will not lack help us. The one you need at time, the one you need concerning various aspects of your life, the Lord will cause them to appear. Like the way the three men appeared to Abraham, your helpers will appear. Your helpers will appear. Your helpers will appear. Bring your, your communion and begin to make declaration. As I take the blood of Jesus and his flesh this morning, I receive covenant help. I receive helpers, covenant helpers, major helpers, major helpers. Helpers will rise. Some of the people you don't know them, some of them, it is somebody you know that knows somebody, that knows somebody, that knows somebody. Help will just arise. Your matter will become a thing of discussion. Your matter will become something that has a very heavy weight in the heart of men that they just have to do something about it because we have provoked heaven. We have provoked the supernatural. We have provoked covenant by the communion this morning. Everyone listening to me, receive help this time. In areas you need help, help us will arise. In areas you need help, help us will arise. Receive help, receive help, receive help. Even the areas you need help, you don't know. Help us will arise and help is coming. Help is coming from now to the end of this year. I command the helpers of your destiny. There is somebody here, and there are more than one. The Lord said, from this year ending, you will begin to see how 2023 will be. Because the sign of how it's going to be, it will begin this year. You will meet certain things, and it will be sealed up, and it will turn into next year, that by next year we execute it. You know that next year, now it is settled. Wherever you are, by covenant in communion, we settle it. No power will change it. No power will alter it. No power will reverse it. No power will postpone it. Covenant takes it over. In the name of Jesus Christ, now lift your communion. Father, I bless that wine. Father, I bless that bread. And I decree in the name of Jesus that that wine and that bread, by the power of the Holy Ghost, is a covenant. It's a covenant. Balakusu, darasada, shudabahaya. Three things shall, that shall be done by this covenant. Please, also as I bless the communion, I will bless water and oil, please. And I will give instruction of how you will go and use it. 
As I finish the communion, please quickly get water and oil because we have just a few minutes to go. Thank you, Father. Three words I'm releasing, three prayers I'm releasing, three prophecy I'm releasing, three utterances I'm releasing. Number one is that God, the Almighty, will assign angels, and even He Himself, He will go ahead of you and He will fight for you. In every affair of your life, you will see God appear as your fighter. He will appear as your fighter. He will appear as your fighter. Hey, even men, mortal men, all men, even all believers will say that yeah, God is fighting for them. That will be your story. It is a covenant. Let me tell you one of the mysteries why when you pray and you take communion, you are making that prayer difficult for any devil to change. Because communion is the body of Jesus and his flesh. Whenever you take communion after prayer, you are sealing the prayer. You are turning it from a promise to a covenant. Sir, covenant is something the devil cannot break. Even God said, my covenant with the day and night. He said, the same way no one can break it, you can't break my covenant with David. So it's difficult to break covenant. This is a covenant the Lord made with us. So when you assess it by taking it, you have entered covenant in your prayers. Ah, today, whatever we have prayed on this altar, we command it to manifest by this covenant. We seal it by this covenant in the name of Jesus. Number two, I declare, God will raise speakers for you. People that will go ahead of you, people that have gone ahead of you, people that God will send ahead for your sake, they will speak for you in various important places, in various vital places, places that you will gain quick access, easy access, places where things will happen without you putting much effort, places where your assignment will become easy, places where your prayers will become answered. I decree God by this covenant will give you speakers, men that will speak for you. Men that will prepare the way for you, whether they know you or not, but Jehovah will connect that in Jesus' name. Number three, I declare and I decree major helpers, major helpers, major helpers, major helpers, major helpers, major helpers. Help they are releasing your life. Take that communion this morning. Please get the water and the anointing oil. And as I said, if you are living in a house where you can even if it's a rented place, but you have access to the ground outside, you can pour small oil on the ground, do it. And then um, the water, please use the water for yourself. There are some things you don't know that are there in your life. There are things that we don't know that are there, they're not supposed to be there. When you take anointed water like that, that thing give way. Those things just give way like that. They just, and you take it, you discover that you, you see your prayer life changes. All those things that make your prayer life weak, when you take it, that thing give way. Demonic spirit, all of them give way. Anything blocked, you, you wash your face. Anything the enemy has done in the dream of the night, in your time of sleep, all of them goes off. Today, I bless that water. That water you have presented before the prayer altar, that water is turned to fire. Agbara, Lord, who will me, who will show me last summer, who will be magical. It becomes anointed water. It shall be for signs and wonders and deliverance and healing in the name of Jesus Christ. That water, anything you place a demand for that you want that water to do, who will be Ashisha Yanuya. When you just say your prayers to the water, and you use it, the water will produce results. As you sprinkle that water even in your house, go where me I more. Anything there blocking your prayers, fighting anything about you, they will clear up the way. They will relocate instantly. Mm -hmm. And I declare anywhere you sprinkle the water and you say, This is what you want. My God, your God, the one who's I am, who's up, the covenant keeping God, he will show forth for you. Listen to me. Answered prayer will come like rain. Watch it. Answered prayers will come like rain. I bless that water. I declare it turn to fire. It's become blessed water. It will become, it's becoming miracle water. It's become healing water. It's becoming deliverance water. It's no longer not water. It's turned to the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Now get your oil. Father, I speak over that oil. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Anyone living in a compound where there are all kinds of demonic things and they are not aware, 
as the touch of this oil touches the ground. I pray that, Father, the head is the Lord and the fullness thereof. That oil here that touches the ground will fight their battles. We ensure that anything that is working against the where they stay is cleared up. And if there's no way to pour this oil on the ground, anywhere in your room at your point, there will be a battle in the spirit. The anointing will fight your battles and break the yoke. Anywhere also they are holding what is yours on the face of this earth. They are struggling with you what is yours. They will leave it. I give them hours. They will leave it. The force that is beyond them will come against them. Anywhere they are holding what is yours. By this anointing, they will leave it. Whether it's your place of work, in any sense, anywhere, they will leave it. They will just leave it. I tell you, there's nothing to explain. They will just leave it. By the power of God, we force it released back. Let the earth is yours be released back to you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Let this anointing begin to work for you. Let this anointing begin to break your power of God, anointing of the Holy Spirit, release into this oil. And let this oil begin to cause every enemy to come back from your nest. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Watch it. Use the oil. Use the water. Just pray whatever you want to see it done in addition to the ones I've said. Use it and see what God will do. You will show God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful time. Today, today I didn't forget. Please talk I know. Tomorrow is Friday. And we're going to be having a wonderful night. God bless you. 10 p.m. Nigeria.